Is it started? Yeah. Oh, good. Hi. Today we're going to be doing a back to school special with me, Kathy from Healthy Happy Life. And me, Jenna from Choosing Raw. And whether you're shuttling your kids off to school or you're shuttling yourself off to school. If you happen to be a back to school later in life person <laughs> like me. Yes. Or even if you're just going to work and you need to make yourself a quick healthy lunch and even a breakfast. Um, these are going to be some really great tips and recipes that you can use every day. Fall is the perfect time to start new healthy habits because you know once you get super busy you're going to fall back into bad habits and it's really easy to grab fast food, take out, and get in a real rut. So if you start good habits early on in the year, it's easier to get used to them. I think that's definitely and we're going to show you hopefully that making food fast doesn't have to, like making healthy food can also be done really quickly. Like there is yep. such a thing as a five minute lunch and breakfast the healthy yep. way. So. All right, so a really great tip for kids or even adults, but it's really fun for kids, is to make your own little trail mix station. And you can kind of pile in here whatever you want. I have some raisins and some flavored seasoned almonds and nuts, blueberries, even some chocolate covered, dark chocolate covered vegan Brazil nuts, um, sunflower seeds. And what your kids can do the night before school is they can get their little Tupperware and just kind of make their own trail mix using whatever they want. And I like to put the chocolate ones right on top so you can just put a few in there, not too many, but it still looks super indulgent. And one of my time-honored favorite lunchbox, lunchbox foods is these little tiny baby carrot bags. I ate them all through high school, all through college, and they're kind of cliche, but they're just so good if you need something to crunch on in the middle of the day, if you're stressed out or anything. And these guys are organic, um, and they come in these little packs, and they're great. And even better, if you can add your own little to-go hummus, you can use this as a dip. And this is great for the carrots, or if you have some little pita slices or some crackers. This is my lemon thyme hummus. And one of my favorite to-go lunches, and this is great for adults, is just a classic chilled pasta primavera. And I make this the night before. I make a huge bowl of it, and I split it into Tupperware containers. And then I just pull it out, and it's all ready to go. And it's really simple. It's just pasta tons of vegetables, kind of whatever I have on hand, spinach, olives, roasted peppers, lemon juice, cabbage, and then I put in some dry spices, which are really great for flavoring pasta, and a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil, some cider vinegar, and it's just a really easy lunch that you can make ahead of time. Just grab it and go. And since it's cold, you don't even have to reheat it at work or your kids can just eat it right at the lunch station. Lunch, lunch, what are they even kept here? <laughs> I don't know where they eat anymore. And these are really fun for kids or adults again. These are kind of like, I'll call them vegan chicken nuggets, but they have nothing to do with meat. Um, I actually make them out of mushrooms and TVP. So they're very high in protein and there's nutritional yeast and they're quite high in vitamin D from all the mushrooms. And they're kind of just little nuggets, kind of like falafels, and I like to put them in their own little container so then the kids or adults can make their own pita at lunchtime. And for a treat for your lunchbox, one of my favorites is mini peanut butter cookies. Um, peanut butter cookies are really good because the best part about a peanut butter cookie is putting just gobs of peanut butter in it. And you're probably going to be feeding your kids some peanut butter or almond butter or sunflower butter if they're allergic to peanuts um, in some way. So these are fun. They're tiny little nuggets and I kind of rolled them in coconut too. And you can make these over the weekend with your kids so they can have fun in the kitchen and then eat the things that they make during the week as a little treat. Another thing that you might want to add in your kids lunchbox is a vegan chewable vitamin. Even if they're getting a very well-rounded meal, it really doesn't hurt to stick one of these in. I actually take these because <laughs> I bought them and they're really good. I wanted to show them and try them. But they just taste like a Flintstones vitamin. But they're totally vegan. 
and they're great to add to your kid's lunchbox. They'll just pop them in their mouth. And another tip that you probably know is to always stick some sort of fruit in your kid's lunch. Even if you think they're not going to eat it, just stick it in there because they'll get used to seeing it and maybe they'll start to eat it. A plum, a banana, something that's going to last through the day and small enough that they can just grab it and try it. And it's a really great habit for kids to get into is eating fruit every day. Instead of feeding your kids the traditional high sugar fruit juice, fruit boxes, um, and those little squeeze packs, try coconut water. It's incredibly hydrating. My favorite is these soy crispy chips. And you can buy these from Whole Foods. Um, there are a couple different brands. The great part is they're actually pretty high in protein since they're made from soy. And another one I love are these Ting. This is a Ting. They look like Cheetos. They're awesome. And kids won't know the difference. And if they do, they'll have one taste and love And uh, that's chum. So I'm going to show you how to do one of my favorite portable packed lunch ideas. Um, this particular this particular lunch is going to be probably a little bit more appropriate for your grown-up student, like college students and anyone who's getting a grad degree. But you can definitely make some small changes if you're packing it up for your kids, and I'll tell you how to do that. Um, the idea is to make a salad using whole grains. I think um, green salads are great because they're a little bit more filling. They keep you. They keep you satisfied a little bit longer, they're full of nutrition, and they keep a little bit better than a salad that's just made of leafy greens. And the great thing about them is that they can be a vehicle for vegetables too, so you can load them up with all of your favorite veggies and they'll still taste totally fantastic. You could pretty much put any whole grain here that you liked. It could be couscous, which comes together really, really quickly, so if you're in a time crunch, it's a great grain to use. You could use quinoa, you could use any kind of wild rice, you could use orzo, you could even use pasta and it would work really, really nicely here. So you can pretty much use any whole grain you like. I have about half a cup of cooked millet in here and I have some carrots, which I roasted with a little bit of curry powder and salt and pepper. Um, super simple, a tiny bit of olive oil, that's it. And so you would just put it into a bowl like this, right here. That's the carrots and the millet. And what I like to do is put in a little bit of arugula, which I have right here. Um, arugula tends to be very fine, so you can just throw a handful in it and it'll be bite-sized and it'll work really, really nicely in your whole grain salad, like this. I like to put some avocado in mine, of course, because I put avocado in pretty much everything I make. Um, I would do about a quarter of an avocado chopped. And then the trick to making your green salads taste really great is to have a good salad dressing on it. Um, so this is a curry vinaigrette that I basically just make with olive oil, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of agave, um, and about a teaspoon of curry powder. You drizzle about two or three tablespoons of the dressing onto your grains, and then you just mix it up like this. Now, if you're packing for your kids and they're not gonna be into curried carrots and arugula, which is pretty understandable, you can definitely just do more kid-friendly stuff. Like you can, do, um, you can do a grain salad with raisins or a little bit of red pepper. You can do it with any veggies that you know your kids are partial to. So, you know, I find that one thing we tend to do is underestimate kids' taste buds. If you use a really great salad dressing that you know your kids are gonna like and you put a little bit of dried fruit in it, kids will actually surprise you with how much they can get to love their vegetables. So um, definitely don't be afraid, especially if you know you have a sophisticated little eater at home, don't be afraid to make something that both of you will like and pack that up. And here's your little packed grain salad. And it will definitely keep, even if you can't refrigerate it, it will definitely keep between breakfast and lunch. So here you are, it's a great option for anyone who wants to eat healthy on the go.